Hey everyone, I'm Laurencio, and in this video I'm going to talk about tennis games for the GBA. Pro Tennis WTA Tour is a decent tennis game for the GBA. Its controls are, are a blend of arcade and simulation, and the best part about the game was that each character felt different. One had more powerful shots, another one had more control, I like that type of variation. The only bad part about the game would be that in the latter levels, on the harder difficulties, the game can get really tough. But aside of that, and even that is a nitpick, the game is great. You can also play single and double matches. In Virtua Tennis, the controls are rather inclined towards a simulation than an arcade game. You get 12 playable characters and the controls feel a little more spot on. I mean the controls feel like you have much more control over the character than in the previous game. Here too you can play single and doubles and aside of this I don't know what to say. The games don't have that much content, but at least they are solid at playing tennis. Family Tennis Advance is a game in Japanese that doesn't have that many reviews online to read about what is going on in the game. But from what my Japanese skills and counting skills could deduce, the game has a whopping number of 30 playable characters, and among those characters are Pac-Man and other famous characters from Bandai Namco. There are also 25 tennis courts to play in, the gameplay is a mixture of arcade and simulation, though it tends more on the arcade department. The game is amazing content-wise and gameplay-wise. Unless you are bothered by the fact that the game is in Japanese and unless you know Japanese you can't read what's happening on screen, if you get past that, the game is amazing. Agassi Tennis Generation has a very weird camera angle, which makes hitting the ball sometimes weird. Aside of this, the game is decent, it has 6 courses you can play in, and no matter that you have a quick play, championship or arcade option, you are still going to play tennis. Mario Tennis Power Tour is similar to Mario Golf. How, you would ask me? What does tennis have in common with golf? Well, they are both sports and they both have something to do with the color green. And as for the two games, they have in common that they both have the same game developer, Gamelot, and that they both are RPGs, meaning that you get a story and free room, and participate with your character in competitions. And at the end, you end up playing with the best tennis player out of them all. Serena Williams. No. Mario. And as for gameplay, it's masterfully made, fast paced and fun. You get the usual power shots too. And overall it's a game that pleases both the eyes and the heart. Top Spin 2 is another decent game. It has 10 cards and 8 playable characters and a very simplistic menu screen. The controls are like in the first game, overall the game is solid. Tennis Master Series 2003 is another decent tennis game on the GBA. And there's not really much to talk about any of these games, as they are very lightweight. But even if they mostly have just matches and more matches in the form of cups, they are solid. And if you like tennis, you can try them out. Though there are way better tennis games on other platforms and especially on handheld platforms if you want an experience on the go except for Mario Tennis Power Tour, which is amazing. From the GB, the best will be Family Tennis Advance and Mario Tennis, because of its content. All of the rest are very lightweight, but Family Tennis Advance and Mario Tennis has a good gameplay and a very deep amount of content. I will recommend you to play them only for novelty reasons, the GBA games, to see how the games are. I mean, you'll see that the games, by having only matches, get boring, especially if you're not a really hardcore tennis fan. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. 
If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram, or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I made. Thanks for watching.